What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will create the area message system. So when you enter in a nice new area that you haven't explored yet in the map, we will get a little pop-up at the top of the screen. And the cool thing is that we can make this pop-up universal so it will work with more things in the future. It's going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is create the UI itself. So let's go to our content browser, just right click, go to user interface and create a new widget blueprint. Let's uh, just select the user widget, let's name this something as that will be underscore and then we can put something as uh, use message um, pop up. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up and the first thing that we need to add is a canvas panel to our hierarchy that way we can start to add things into our screen. Then let's just go ahead and drag in a text and we're gonna go ahead and just anchor this at the top of our screen and put the position X and Y at 0, 0 with an alignment of 0 0.5, 0 0.5. That way as you can see it is exactly centered at the top. Then let's just go ahead and make the size X and Y a bit bigger, center the justification here and then just in general make the text size bigger, okay? And then also in X, gonna make it even more bigger so we have more room. Then let's go ahead and just increase the position Y so it will kinda be lowered a bit. And there we go. Now the cool thing is that we already built some UIs in the past so let's drag this inside the UI folder. And then there's one thing inside of the HUD where if we go to the, um, where is it, the level up text and everything like that. I believe that, um, yeah, I believe that actually we didn't uh, add a color to it. No, it's uh, actually um, completely white, which is okay. Uh, I thought that we added like a color to it, but what we need to do is just go ahead and maybe make it kind of, a, you know, orangey and let's add a bit of outline. Actually, no, let's leave it without outline. I think it will be a bit cleaner. So this will be our text block and let's just put a, you know, temporary text just for us to see, which will be something as uh, entering and then whatever we can put like for example dunes as an example of the name of that area that we are entering even though it's just temporary because it's to put something let's go ahead and rename this text to something as the you know just text itself because we are only gonna have one text in this widget so there's no problem let's create uh, this as a variable so just check that uh, check that text checkbox there and then we need to create to and actually this is just a quick animation which will fade this in and fade this out maybe a bit going up and down right so first of all let's go to window and uh, open up the animations panel let's go ahead and create a new animation which will be something as use you know a message all right then let's go ahead and select this go ahead and select the text itself and then we can start to add keyframes so in this case let's just go ahead and put the um position y to be at the top here okay so it will be off the screen in this case i have it at minus 90 and then i'm also going to go ahead and just expand color and opacity under appearance and set the alpha to you know zero let's just add a keyframe on the alpha and also on position y okay this is very important then we'll go ahead and use advance and then i'm going to go ahead and just drop the position y until where we want which is kind of here and then i just put a keyframe and put the alpha to one and add a keyframe. As you can see now, boom, we have this really cool effect. And then we are gonna go ahead and just drop it maybe a bit more. Okay. And then a bit later, we're gonna go ahead and just put it up again, right? So we'll be out and uh, let's just add a keyframe and put the uh, alpha at zero. And now as you can see, we have this really cool animation entering dunes, and there we go. Now the thing is that we need to select those last three keyframes, expand them, because, you know, they have to be, we need more time in the screen. There we go. Entering dunes starts to fade away and it goes up. I think that it is a pretty cool animation. Of course, you can put more, you know, time and effort into it to make it a bit better. Let's now go to the graph. Uh, just go ahead and delete all of these events and just right click and create our own custom event which will be something as just play message animation right and it's as simple as just going and getting this text and then just um sorry not text but the message animation and then say play animation 
And with that said, we're good to go. We can compile, save, close. And then we're gonna go into our player character, which in actually it's not gonna be our player character, is we're gonna create a new blueprint, which will be the zone itself. And I actually also covered a very similar system in literally my previous video of yesterday, which is a dangerous zone, and we display a message when we enter in that a specific trigger. It's gonna be very similar to that. So if we go back to the content, go to the blueprints folder, right click and create a new blueprint class, we can create a new actor because this trigger, this zone will be basically uh an actor in the world let's put this something as bp underscore and then use area right and let's open this up so the first thing that we need to do is go and add a new component and let's add a collision in this case let's add this box collision and this will be the trigger itself okay so when our player goes through this trigger which is this collision uh, we will display that message and it's like identifying this new area now make sure under collision settings that it is set as overlap or dynamic that way we can go through it everything like that and we will also detect our player then let's go ahead and create a new variable and let's name this something as area name okay which will you know uh be just a variable that we will change depending on the area name of course let's change this to be a string okay so it'll be text Compile and let's put a temporary. For example, we can put dunes, right? Just to put an example. And then let's go ahead and just play this I icon. So it will be instance editable. And that will mean that we can edit this variable from outside in the game. So if I drag this here, you can see that it is as a you know parameter. But let me just delete it for now. And now what I need to do is just add the on begin overlap event in the trigger, which is when the player will go through it. So let's go ahead and just subscribe to this. And now with that, we can just check if, you know, the other actor is our player indeed. So the cool thing that we can do here is just add a has tag node and let's put here player. Now make sure that it is spelled exactly like we have on our current um, third person character blueprint. So if we open this up, go to class defaults and search for a tag. You can see that we have this player tag. So it has to be exactly the same like that because then I will return as an error. Well, not error, but it will just not detect that player. All right, so let's add a branch here in case that's true. And if so, what we're going to do is basically go ahead and just print a message for now. And what message will this be? Well, it will be something as entering. Uh, well, not entering. Just let's just plug in the area name, okay? So you know when we enter this area, we will just print that out. And with that said, we are going to go ahead and just go to blueprints. And drag in our uh, where is a BP area and just increase the scale. Okay, there we go. We're gonna have this area. Let's say it's gonna put it kind of here. Uh, let's just yes, let's put it here, right? When we go through this gap over here. Now, one thing that I'm going to do temporary is to go here, search for a hidden in game on the trigger, and disable this. That way, we can see the borders on gameplay okay so if i press play you can see the trigger here if i go boom we print here dunes now you can notice that we are printing this two times so what i need to do is just uh make sure that it will do it only once so what we can do is add a do once node and then after you know a few seconds of delay like literally we are talking about a point second of delay we can reset this back to normal that way we can enter again into the same zone all right, then now you can see that indeed it will only print once. And if I enter again, it will only print once. So I think it's going ahead and working. Good. But of course, right now we don't want to print a string. What we want is, of course, to go ahead and, you know, create this widget. So let's delete the print string node and just drag a create widget node. Let's select the class, which in this case it was, um, uh, it was area, right? Or how do we even name this? It was that would be oh message right so uh, the reason that some message pop up the reason why we named it like that is that we can as I mentioned at the intro of the video is that we can make it um, universal so it will not only work for example entering a new area but also for example with an interaction imagine that you're entering into a boss fight and you want to display the boss name or you're drinking something and you want to put drinking whatever you know you can make it this message. Uh, with the animation that we created, uh, you know, universal and generic for everything. But in this case, we will use that for our area. And now the only thing we need to do is, of course, go ahead and, you know, call the um, play uh, message animation a custom event that we created. And with that, we can just compile, save, 
and if we now go and press play we can enter and we don't see anything so i forgot something which is very important and of course is to go ahead and add this widget to the viewport okay which is very important in unreal you need to add widgets into the viewport because now you're creating like a widget just you know the the class itself and there we go now we have that cool animation coming in now the thing is that of course we need to pass the area name that we you know added on the uh, area blueprint itself right because right now we just have set it hard-coded to dune in the uh, widget so let's go ahead and open up once again our message pop-up and we will just go into the graph go to the custom event and create an input and in this case this will be area name or uh, well and that's sorry message because as i mentioned again it will be generic so i'm gonna put this as a string and we will receive this and right after playing the animation we will just get the text and that's why we set it as a variable before and you set the text with this function okay and like that we can just pass the message over here and there we go all right cool um now one thing make sure to as i mentioned to uh click is very bone here and now in the call we can just pass the area name and as you can see this will perfectly work if i go here we can see dunes but of course maybe you want the message of you know entering dunes so what we can do instead is instead of doing it here in the widget because it's a universal message right it's not gonna only work for areas we can do it in the area blueprint and let's do a format um format text node and we can basically do multiple things in this case what we can do is just type entering and then pass with the scroll bracket a parameter which is the area name and then we can close this press enter and we have this input so now i can pass the area name as an input and it will fill it in here so entering area name which in this case will be dunes and i can pass that result into here with this conversion node and well basically we'll have um you know entering and then the name of the area which is pretty cool and there we go you can go ahead and do it again as you can see now right now we are going ahead and creating a lot of widgets every time so i'm gonna go ahead and add a sequence here and just add a another delay which will end when the animation finishes which in this case the duration is exactly three seconds so after three seconds i will just get this and do a valid is valid okay the second one and if the widget is valid that means that it is still existing it will just call the remove from parent node so we will completely delete the widget from screen and we don't have 20 widgets at the same time which is quite important and with that said it will work as you can see entering dunes there we go and if i go and enter again you can see okay <laughs> so what happened here well that's because <laughs> um about the the do ones that i mentioned before okay so we are actually gonna go ahead go ahead and just delete this delay delete this sequence plug this here and right after there we go if we remove it we'll do this and if it's not valid we will directly go to the um to the uh, reset okay so now as you can see if we wait there we go we will not have that error again and everything will work so that's it guys i found this tutorial helpful i would really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 videos and tutorials so check them out remember they have full access to the complete series on their patreon and you know um and youtube members so link in the description i uh, join my discord server to talk with me and other devs follow me on my socials and now yes with all i said bye bye